This is a model of what I was planning to do with the installation space. It is not to scale. Um, <laughs> these windows back here represent the walls or the windows that face the street in the exhibition space. On the west wall there are some painted over windows like this that I could also use. Um, I'll talk more about them later. These to represent the pillars. The glue is coming undone on this one. Okay. And um, again, this is not to scale. And then there's a going on to a theme of a um, of a dream catcher. But from the approach perspective, you would see there's sort of an angle or something odd and this strange kind of webbing and network coming out. There's also a focal point. This would be a bed, but not just an ordinary bed. There'd be something very surreal about it. I was going to cover the sheets in a ryegrass and um, water them for a while. This is something I did for another project as a test in using, you know, green material. So I've never actually completed anything with it. I was just trying to figure out how to use it um, a few weeks ago. Um, this is about two weeks of growth with rye seeds. I guess wheat grows a little faster. It was just, um, the seeds were just put on water. Um, I wanted to create this bed here as a focal point. The sheets covered into this green space and um, it'll be kind of a surreal scene that I would make a crop circle in the middle of the bed. So there'd be a focal point and they would approach and they would see the networks in this odd thing and come in to explore and then find themselves you know, on the inside of, yeah, to like look up and find yourself literally inside the dream catcher. It's kind of the idea that I would be looking into. Um, and in a sense, not necessarily exploring normal space, but surreal space. The idea of the dream catcher is that it's supposed to um, act like um, have, have powers to block out the bad dreams, like bad spirits. And then to fully appreciate this form, once you're inside, you would be captured inside. Or you'd be weaving through. So are you a good dream or are you a bad dream? Um, and there's a very, would be a very surreal effect with this and the crop circles are kind of you know strange um, some people call them hoaxes some people call them um, you know evid you know they believe in them and so there's something that kind of goes back to childhood about the monster under the bed and that sort of thing um, so I'm not really sure how I want to treat um, some of the um, surreal space. Do I want to go very surreal here in forming this webbing? Um, because there's sometimes little jewels and feathers that are tied in that could help accentuate the space. Um, could there be something, you know, nostalgic? Or do I want to go something psychoanalytical? I'm not really sure. Um, but I guess I want to play with um, space as something that the, that the audience would come in and explore from within. And, um, and maybe try to have something, some kind of a cognitive um, encounter. Um, ideally, in terms of lighting, um, these I would put like muslin cloth over and project video 
Um, but I've never done that. Or I would, um, or I'm thinking I could um, maybe rent some LED lights that have computer controlled displays so that these could have, you know, like from a theatrical company. I don't know. I, I know of some products on the market. I don't know if they're available in town. Here, these I thought would be really interesting if um, there's an interesting lighting effect that if you have three colors of primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, as they mix across the room, they form white light and they would, um, you know, form, you know, your normal um, kinds of shadows um, that you would see. But, um, when you bring color light into it, every uh, every shadow would have a slight bend at a slightly different angle, and you get colored shadows of the lights. And it it doesn't seem like it's possible, you know, but but there it is. And it's um, I used to um, used to set up a lighting situation like that in my uh, living room. It's kind of fun, and it's also seen at a lot of children's science museums. So I was thinking with all these strings and things, um, if those three were, um, oops, yeah, if those uh, three back windows were yellow, blue, and green light, um, or even changing them, if there was an LED lighting system I could rent for the, uh, um, that would change, it would create all kinds of really simple but very beautiful and fascinating um, shadows um, and colors um, as the people came in. Um, so anyway, that's my thinking. I don't think it's going to fit in your box. Um, so I'll see if I can find you at your office. And um, that's why I'm making this video. Thanks.